What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Continuum. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. And, well, I think I need to talk about the elephant in the room. It's been two weeks since I recorded an episode. And, uh, well, I kind of needed that. Uh, I know I didn't talk about it, but it, it just felt good to uh, just not record any Minecraft for a little bit. At some point, you get a little bit exhausted at uh, recording Minecraft or just playing Minecraft when there's other things going on. So that that's what happened. But there is a good point to it. Uh, I've got 142,000 mushroom, 196,000 gas tears. I've got plenty of materials to continue doing what we were doing. So there's also a bunch of things like uh, the red coal that I'm currently automating. Uh, I just did this little setup uh, in between videos, which there's just coal in one side, it goes into here and comes out as red coal, uh, because we're going to need this to automate a couple of things. I've also added one tower of molecular assembler to be able to assemble things. So by putting this there, we can uh, simply go like this. And that's nice that it doesn't do anything. But yeah, so this is the first one you need to craft. So we're going to make a couple of uh, those. Do I have some patterns? Nah, let's make like 40 because we're going to need a lot to be able to make uh, a good part of what it's here. Uh, one thing I can tell you guys, uh, I, I had some issues like before with uh, the server lagging turns out uh, just verify that your server has space for uh, you know files and you won't have any lag <laughs> that's what i can tell you because well i had this issue and it turns out it was the server having problems with space turns out uh, on linux when you put your things into uh, your your recycling bin or your garbage can uh, it doesn't empty it, so everything in there still takes space. So, well, I had to empty it, and now everything's fine. So, yeah, let's do this. So, this thing here, I don't know why it doesn't put it there. There we go. So, that's pretty much the first one we need to do. So, let's grab, uh, like, 16 of this one. So, this one's gonna be like this. So, now you're gonna have the um, Opinion Core. All right, so let's grab like eight because that's what we can do. And then you're going to have the Opinium Core Passable. Oh, they're all the pathetic, mediocre, passable. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, and of course, do the, do the thing. Then there's this one. So we've got two. And then there's this one. So I can make one. Wait, I didn't do the one before. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it. All right. Uh, well, I can do that one. But I can't do that one because... Uh, oh, man. Sometimes I try to go too quick. But all right. Uh, I've got a couple here. So we're going to place those over here. Over there. Over there. And this one needs to be skipped. So let's go. Let's go. Opinion core. Uh, we're going to need two of these. And this is going to be useful. <laughs> so, let's do Opinium. There we go, we got the two. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. There we go. Bam, bam, and bam. So there we go, now we've got the pattern. Uh, let's craft like... Uh, seven of this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot to need to place the pattern before I can do the other thing. Okay, so this one over here. So let's do opinion again. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next start. So it's gonna do uh, the thing. And now what we can do is we can do this. But as you can see, I need to have bottle of enchanting, and I do have intellect drops, so I can just do that. But of course, I need to have the recipe to make the bottles. And there we go. So we've got these two. Uh, so let's do this. Let's do that. And let's craft one just so we can make a one of these. Bam. And there we go. I can make one of these. And this is where it gets more complicated. So you need the pair of elytra wings to be able to make this. 
Uh, okay, I, th- I think we're we're gonna stop here and we're gonna continue talking a little bit about the things we need to do here. So, all right, what we need is a little bit complex. So, oh, I think I'm gonna have to go uh, on the side. So maybe we put that there, like this. So I'm gonna be able to continue over here. So, all right. After this one, you need pair of elytras. If you look over here, there's nothing that tells you how to get elytras. There is a quest on the Opinion Core that does tell you you can duplicate elytras by crafting an elytra with a dragon scale, which drop after killing every ender dragon after the first. This will create new elytras while keeping the original. So that is the way we're going to do. And if you don't know already, uh, it's kind of easy to respawn the dragon, so you need to do the crystal methods. I tried to look into uh, the dragon egg with a phantasmal bee. Turns out the dragon doesn't drop a dragon egg. I think it's a config somewhere that they turned off for the path pack. I'm kind of pissed at this one because it would have been really easy to just do the other one. But yeah, so let's just take... 64 and we need to do this but we also need some bottles and the reason for this uh, is because we need to grab we need to grab the dragon breath which this one's going to be a little bit hard because we're going to get hit quite hard that that's why <laughs> But yeah, so let's do Om End, and we should end up in the end. So yeah, so if we look over here, uh, I, I did try a bunch of things to actually uh, automate killing the dragon, and I wasn't able to find any good method about it. So the fact that we can't have the dragon egg Kind of kills the phantasmal bee, meaning I can't... Oh. Hey, buddy. Uh, kills the phantasmal bee, which meaning we can't spawn a dragon in another dimension. Uh, and normally what you could do is use fans, but we don't have the fans from mob crusher, mob something. And we only have those, and the dragon is not affected by those fans, meaning we can't push dragon anywhere. Uh, there was another thing about, uh, what was it? You could put Draconic Evolution portals, and he would always go in the portals, and then he would just teleport back in the middle all the time. But, again, it does not work, because he simply can't, you know, he, he's simply can't go in the portals because Draconic Evolution is not in the mod pack. So, that brings us to, I need to place these. There's a way to automate placing these, uh, but I don't care, so it's going to be fine. Uh, we, we need quite a bunch, I th think we need around 16. Wow, that is loud. Uh, music and sound. Uh, there's a couple of those that we need to break. Well, to be honest, I don't need to break any. I'm able to kill him with this uh, without actually breaking anything. Uh, but since we're going to have to uh, get a little bit of this bread. Wow, it's loud. Let's break this. No, well, this one's not gonna break. He, he kind of hurts a little bit when he hits you. So, this is what the thing we need to, to gather, so... Okay, so there we go. It takes... It does about 8 normally. That's kind of weird that it does 7 there. Uh, but alright, let's... Uh... So, that that's why I don't really need to, to kill anything. Uh, when he's uh, at the bottom there, you can't... Uh... Okay, maybe it doesn't hurt. <laughs> he didn't do any damage. Come on, would you would you send me an attack? Let's try to get this thing. Boom. Boom. Alright. Attack me, come on. There we go, that's what I want. Perfect. 
So this thing is hard to do when you have Botania in your mod in, in your mod packs. Because uh, when you right click it gives like Ender Bottle. And this one is quite easy because you just need to do this. So he should start uh, using his breath. There we go. So you can do this. <laughs> and it's quite easy when he uses the breath. There we go, we got all the breath. Yep. Oh, there we go, he goes again. And since I'm one block above... Oh, dang it! Don't throw the freaking bottles! Since I'm one block above, it doesn't hurt me. Come on, are you gonna use bread again? <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. Okay, you're gonna do it again? Come on, come on. Do it again. No, you're, you're going to fly. Alright, that's good. That's cool. Uh, we almost have a couple of... Uh... Alright, so let's do bottle. Next. Start. Alright, we're gonna move because he threw an attack. So... Oh, really? I'm gonna keep uh, killing you guys? Okay, let's get up. Alright, he's coming back down. Hey buddy, you're looking the wrong way. Okay, you're going the other side. Okay, so we got all of these. Uh, let's grab more bottles, because this is something you're gonna need a lot when you do the quest part. Come on, go again. Ah, oh, come on! I'm using normal bottles, I don't understand why it's switching to these. I find this stupid a little bit. But alright, after this we're gonna kill it. Well, I was gonna say after these. But, let me just show you how easy he is to kill. That was one attack. Alright, we've got some... Uh... This is actually the most dangerous attack. This thing almost kills me. Okay. Seriously? Okay, there we go. Come on, are you coming back in the middle? That'd be nice. Oh, that's too far. Oh, oh, wait, 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 don't go! <laughs> okay, let's go back on the ground. And he's gonna attack the ground instead. Or just, it could just attack him. So that's one thing you can do. Uh, if you ever want to kill him, when he's coming to the middle, uh, you can attack him. And uh, he's not going to be able to defend himself because he's trying to go in the middle. And as long as he's not in the middle, it's uh, quite an easy game. Come on. You can do it. Alright, let's not use uh, the other bottles. Alright, perfect. Come on, another one. Another one. Just do another one. Well, you need two. Okay, you attack me, you're gonna pay for this. Oh, come on. And there we go, he's dead. <laughs> so, there, there's one issue with all this. Uh, he died over here. And of course there's just the thing from Immersive Engineering. But, if we look over here... Wait, where is it? There we go, that's the scale. So this is the thing you're trying to find. And you're gonna need your elytras. I made a couple already. So you're going to put your dragon scale and your elytra. It's going to give you black elytras. And you're going to keep your old ones. So, that's the way you make multiple pair of those. So, I'm going to continue doing this. Because we're going to need to have a lot of those. And I'm also going to finish uh, making uh, four stacks of this. I don't know how many we need. Uh, but I want to make four stacks just in case. And after that, we're going to continue to look into automating uh, the next part of the crafting. 
All right, so we're back here at the base. Uh, I had to make more, actually. But, okay, so we were doing elytras, and check it out. 24 beautiful elytras. Yeah, I was watching a movie at the same time, so I had to die. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so we were trying to do uh, this one here. And we put one of these in here, and it's going to give you the amazing core. So let's put that, so we should be able to do this. Opinion core. Oh, we, we only have, okay, so let's do this one. Uh, so now can we, come on, I should be able to grab you. Grab you by the sides. Opinion. Why can't I grab it? Oh, wait, let's see. Uh, experience. No, bottle. Yeah, I, I don't have the bottle. Sorry. There we go, we can grab it now. So now we can do this and go back to Elytras. Bam, bam. And we're gonna have the inspiring one, which... Uh, wait, is it that one? Inspiring. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to do this one. So let's do this. Let's put that there. Let's uh, put it at the end over here, so... Uh, this one is first, this one is second. Alright, so that's good. Uh, and then we're gonna do a core. And we're gonna go with the inspiring one, we need two. Next. Look at how many things you need to craft to do this crap. It's ridiculous. Start. <laughs> And let's let's look at the recipe. So how's it going? I, I still never did put acceleration cards into our molecular assembler. So this is something that might be good to do in between episodes, just so that uh, when we craft things like this, it's it would go faster. But it's not that bad. Look, it did it. All right, and then I can do bam, and we got that one. I can craft this, and boom. We have the thing we need to put in the middle over here. So this is what I needed to put in the middle. So we have the recipe. So we have the one piece that we need. But it's not the only thing we need. Red matter. So to make red matter, you need a block of dark matter. And dark matter is this, of course. So you need to have this. Did, did I already have dark matter crafted? Uh, no, but let's check. So I've got the tungsten steel. I've got the block of diamonds and the charcoal uh, block. It's just something that you can get easily. So we've got everything for this. So of course you're going to need to make a recipe for that one. And this thing here will need to go in the industrial blast furnace with pink slime cell. It's true, it's a quest. Uh, so let's go back. Let's go over here. It gives you four. Bang. So now you can do all of these, but our goal is to go to the red matter. Uh, let's check out pink slime. So we've got 25 pink slime cell. Uh, it's easily doable because we can just put the cells, I believe, into here with the pink slime. Oh, the pink slime's not there. It's at the bottom, but I can easily go grab it, put it with the pink slime stuff, and just get a bunch so we can make uh, what we need. All right, we're also going to need this because if you look at the recipe for this, you need it to make the red matter block. So that's why I needed to do the Ender Star uh, with the Dragon Breath. I've also modified in between episodes uh, the the farm for the Prismarine Shard. I placed a bunch of conveyor belts just so I didn't have to move and I just stood in the middle. But yeah, so that worked. So, all right, we can do this. And this thing, well, uh, we're going to keep it because we're going to need to uh, use it with this. But first, we were doing this thing here. So we need to make a little bit more. So one, two, three, four. So that's nine over here. So that is perfect. The nine one will be put with pink slime. So let's grab the pink slime. Okay. So let's turn it into this. Let's do nine of these. Oh, one of these and nine of these. And then we're going to go into the industrial blast furnace, which doesn't have uh, anything connected to it. Oh, wait, industrial blast furnace. 
Industrial Blast Furnace. That's the one here. Uh, so we're going to have to uh, like put this thing here, that thing there, and then it's going to output automatically. So we're going to point that towards uh, black, blue, and what? So that's this one here, but I don't know which it is. Oh, it's probably going to be on the tag, so I'm going to be fine. But yeah, we're going to put these two together over here. And this thing's going to work, so because I'm lazy, I'm going to go... Oh, wait, that's not the correct B. Uh, wait, that's not the B either. Okay, come on. Bam, 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 bam. And there we go, we've got a block. Alright, so let's get the block. Uh, dark matter block, perfect. So, there we go. Boom. Boom. And now we've got these three. So, let's check it out. So, Blast Furnace. So, that's where this thing goes. Perfect. And then the other ones, well, they, they go with the other things. So, we're gonna use the same machines to do these. I know they're using pretty much the same thing, but uh, that's fine. Now let's put this one a little bit lower. So, there's the next things we need to do. So, to make this, you need the Galgadorian. If, if you remember, this thing is a little bit insane to do. You need to make the large lumps, you need to make the lumps, you need to make this. So, I think I've got a recipe for stabilized metal. Uh, let's do stabilized. Uh, yes, so I already have the recipe for this. So, let's do again stabilized, and let's look at uh, the crafting recipes for this. So, the next step is to put it in here. There's the diamond blocks. So, the eyes of Gagador. So, we need to do this one. So, do I already have a recipe? Uh, spider. I don't. So, this is going to be the next thing we need to automate. So, this thing here then needs to go with all this. Uh, and I've already got like enough magma cream to be able to do all of this. So bam, we've got that thing over there. So wait, I, I don't have enough. Uh, so let's just craft a couple more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, five, 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 five. Yeah, there. That's it. Let's do this. And bam, bam, bam. So we've got the three. So let's do this here. So we can make the lumps. Perfect. So what am I missing? Oh yeah, these things are not in there. So, alright, and this thing will turn into the large lumps, which I can't make because I need to craft them. So, alright. So let's go down here. So we're gonna go bam, 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 and bam, and that's like I pretty much knew that it was gonna go there. I didn't. I didn't. So let's do lumps. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Type like a normal person. Okay, lumps, uh, let's do, I don't know how many I need, uh, I did have a place where I wrote all of this, but uh, let's go with 40 to start, so as you can see, it's gonna take a little bit of material, but let's look at this, so this is, uh, well, like a minute and a half, or maybe two minutes, because it's not really exact science, but yeah, so that's not bad. Uh, it's currently smelting these things. If you didn't know, uh, this is the way I smelt my things. And it's actually quite efficient. And for some reason there's a... S oh yeah, it's my thing at the bottom that's slime stings. So, alright. So, let's see. Do we have a lump already? Yeah, we, we do have a lump already ready. So, we can have this. Uh, we're going to put it... Right there. Uh, and then we're going to put it into the smelter. Uh, simply because that's what we need to do. There we go. So it's going to be smelted and do lump. No, it's uh, Galgadorian. There we go. We've got one ingot. And then we can put that there. And boom. This thing is going to work, but we need blocks. So we need to make a block. 
Hank, this thing is gonna be crazy. Uh, so B smelter, that's where we're gonna put this one. And this thing here, let, let's put that there. This thing goes together. Is it raining or something? I hear the sound and everything. So, all right, so then we do have these. So we need to make a one block of this to be able to automate this. So let me craft enough to make a block and things like that. So, well, let's do Gal Gadot, uh, no, let's do Lump. Ah, oh, come on, I can't type Lump, it's ridiculous. I do have enough already. So let's put that over here. So it's gonna craft it. Oh wait, there's one on the ground. And I threw it on the ground. All right, so we've got this thing. Let's do this, and bam! We have the recipe for the red matter. But now what we need to do is make nine red matter, <laughs> and it's going to take a little bit of time to make the block. Uh, let's do, uh, is it still crafting? No, it's done. So let's do red matter. And let's do nine of those next. So, as you can see, it's going to take a little bit of time to craft all of this. So, I'm gonna let this craft and I'll bring you guys back just after. Well, turns out there's an issue with my automation over here. So, if we look over here, we've got these things here. And tungsten, by itself, goes in here. The issue is that these things can still pass to go in the other section. So I'm still not sure how to do this one to like say if there's something in here, don't put anything. But uh, I had to manually move it around. I've also put some overclocker in there, like people have been telling me to do this. But that does mean that if we look at uh, red, oops, red. There we go, red matter, where is it? There we go, we've got nine. That means that we can make a block. Oh yeah, it's a recipe like this. So red matter, let's take this, let's switch that, let's do this, let's do that. And slime, we're gonna need one of these, bam. And, oh yeah, we, we did have a quest for this as well. Uh, we put these in here. So I'm gonna put the red matter over there. So really the only issue is the tungsten. What I could do is probably put another one of these like above and just put the tungsten over there. I don't know, might be an idea. Uh, and let's put these two over there. It should be quite quick. I can't really keep up with the power, but it's fine. It's, it's all good. I don't mind. All right. And red matter block. Bam. We've got a red matter block. So let's claim the red matter. And boom! We are to the point where we can craft this. But, <laughs> I'm not actually ready to craft this. Because I need to make this recipe. Um, so what I need to do, helium plasma. Where is it? This thing here. So helium plasma. We need to put this into a tank over there to be able to do this. So which one is empty? That one. Uh, I don't know how many this thing can take, but let's see. So we, okay, it's not gonna be able to, to keep the whole thing as I'm just doing 64 buckets and I need 512. And this thing's already half full. So, and there's like only two more that we could use on top, so that would make 256. So maybe we'll uh, put the drum on top. So let's see, do we have a drum that we could use for this? So we've got the large drum, large drum, large drum, reinforced drum. Perfect. And we need nodes. All right, so let's do this thing. Uh, wait. I think I went the wrong way. I need to do control, control click, and then put that on top. Oh, I hate when this thing happens. 
Okay, so let's do this, bam, and let's see. Yes, okay, it does work. So I, I need to click this until uh, I don't have any anymore. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of time because, well, I just have so many to click. But you know the problem with all this is that I'm gonna need more of those eventually. Uh, simply because if we look at the recipe, you need to do the energy condenser, but you need the energy condenser to make the energy condenser MK2. And then this one needs, you need to have the MK2 to be able to make everything else after pretty much. Like this one here needs four MK2, need one for this and one for that. So that takes a lot and you need one of these to make this and you need four of these to make this. So, and you need four of these to make this one. So all of these creating power thing needs to have a crazy amount of helium plasma. So I'm probably going to have to find a way to automate all of these things. Uh, but for now, I'm going to have to click this. And in the next episode, guys, we're going to work our way towards the MK2. And I think we're going to be able to do it. And then from the MK2, we can use it to duplicate a lot of items uh, using EMC instead of a lot of things that we don't have. So that's going to be the trick that we're going to use. But for now, I need to right click indefinitely until this thing's filled up. <laughs> but... That is going to be it for today, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.